Here's another video about integration by parts. So, recall lang natin, no? Integration by parts, ito yung general equation niya. Uh, it transforms a complicated or a hard integral, transforms it into a form na yung integral part ay easier. Again, uh, this is another example. So, we have the integral or find the integral of e raised to x cosine x dx. Let us assume solution ko i we let uh, u okay, i assume u is e raised to x tapos uh, dv yung cosine x uh, dx to get the derivative of u of course derivative ng e raised to x e raised to x then then ang integral ng cosine x is sine x okay now, kapag nire-write ko na to doon sa uv minus integral of v du, ang makuha ko, we have u, so e raised to x, sine x minus integral of v du, sine x, e raised to x, dx. Or pag nire-arrange ko, uh, we have e raised to x, sine x, dx. So, ito yung equivalent nito. Now, tandaan, ang goal is yung complicated integral maging easier. Pero nakikita ko dito sa ginawa ko, no, etong part na to, this is not an easier integral. Actually, it's it's the same halos, no? Nag-iba lang yung trigonometric function, naging sine lang. So, paano to? Ang gagawin ko, no, ang integration by parts, pwede mong ulit-ulitin. Ang gagawin ko, kukunin ko tong part na to, tapos yan yung i-integrate ko by parts. So, we have the integral of e raised to x sine x dx. So, dito sa part na to, I will let u again is equal to e raised to x, tapos yung dv ang uh, sine x dx. Getting the derivative of e raised to x, we get e raised to x dx. Tapos, pag in-integrate ko yung v na part, so ang integral ng sine is negative cosine x. So, ito, equal siya sa e raised to x, okay, cosine x minus integral ng v du. So, negative to. So, gagawin kong plus to. So, e raised to x cosine x dx. Ito yung e raised to x sine x dx kapag in-integrate mo. Itong part na yan, itong pangalawang integration by parts natin, isa substitute ko doon. So, ang makukuha ko, e raised to x sine x minus itong part na to, no minus to so minus negative so magiging plus e raised to x cosine x minus integral ng e raised to x cosine x dx now i have another problem pa ulit ulit ako tingnan mo yung integral part natin it's the same from the start no bumalik ako sa simula so anong gagawin natin Pag nag-integration by parts ako, ito ulit makukuha ko. Then, ito, magiging ganun pa ulit-ulit. ba? Pero, no, wag tayo mag-alala. Ano ba yung buong equation? That is equal to the integral of u dv. So, ito ay equal doon sa original integral. At ito yung technique, no? We can just move this there. Kaya, magiging e raised to x sin x plus e raised to x cosine x is equal to pag nilipat mo yan sa kabila magiging twice no original integral natin at dividing both sides of the equation by 2 we can finally get the answer na ang integral ng e raised to x cosine x dx is equal to 1 half of e raised to x sine x plus e raised to x cosine x and wag kalimutan yung 
plus C. Like mo video ko ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.